Miss Tracy from the Danbury Library here with another Mini Masters Art Studio. Today we're going to be studying Zaha Hadid, who was a famous woman architect. We're going to be learning a little bit about Zaha Hadid and we're going to read a story about her too. Then we are going to make our own buildings just like Zaha Hadid. Are you ready? Let's do it. Today's biography on Zaha Hadid is part of the Women Leading the Way series and can be found on Hoopla using your library card. Dame Zaha Hadid was a famous architect. Her imaginative buildings stand across the world. They earned her the nickname Queen of the Curve. I will never give myself the luxury of thinking I've made it. I always set the bar higher, she said in 2013. Zaha was born in Baghdad, Iraq in 1950. The city boomed with modern design. Zaha knew architecture was her future career by age 11. In 1972, Zaha moved to London to study architecture. After school, she started her own firm. In 1983, she bid for a building design in Hong Kong and won. People loved Zaha's design, but some thought it was impractical. It was never built. Other designs also struggled. Zaha's first building was finally, finally completed in 1993. Later projects earned Zaha fame. She was the first woman to design an American museum. Her Olympic venue in London wowed the world. Zaha designed more than buildings too. She made a ski jump, a work of art. Other designs included tables, bridges, and shoes. It was difficult to be a woman in architecture. Most architects are men, but many people thought Zaha was brilliant. Zaha was tough and she fought for respect. Never in my upbringing was there a feeling that women are different from men, she said in 2008. Zaha's work won many awards. She was the first woman to receive the Pritzker. Later, she earned Britain's highest honor. The queen made her a dame. Zaha's death in 2016 saddened many people, but her inspiring buildings still stand. Her work opened doors for others to build their dreams. Architecture is no longer a man's world. This idea that women can't think three-dimensionally is ridiculous, she said in 2008. Today's story about our artist is called The World is Not a Rectangle, a portrait of architect Zaha Hadid. By Jeanette Winter. The world is not a rectangle. In Iraq, rivers flow through green marshes. Wind swoops across sand dunes and through ancient cities. Zaha Hadid sees the rivers and marshes and dunes and ruins with her father and imagines what cities look like thousands of years ago. In Baghdad, where Zaha lives with her family, she dreams of designing her own cities. Zaha looks long and hard at patterns in her Persian carpet and sees how the shapes and colors flow into each other, like the dunes and rivers and marshes. Zaha has ideas. She designs clothes for herself. She arranges her furniture. She loves her mirror because the corners aren't square. There are no corners in the dunes or rivers or marshes. Zaha is a Muslim who attends a Catholic school and loves math and still thinks about the ancient ruins. She leaves home to learn more about cities and how to build them. She has ideas. In London, Zaha studies to be an architect. 
She fills notebooks and plans and designs. She makes paintings of the cities she sees in her mind. Zaha graduates with honors, rents a room in an old school building, and opens her own office, Studio 9. A few friends join her. They all work hard, night and day, making drawings and plans. We never slept, she said. Zaha's designs don't feel like or look like other designs. Her buildings swoosh and zoom and flu flow and fly. The world is not a rectangle, she says. No one wants to build her unusual designs. They say they can't be built, but Zaha knows they can. So she enters competition after competition, hoping to win, hoping someone will be brave enough to build them. Finally, one of Zaha's designs is chosen. The architect judges the architect judges think her plan is best. But the city committee doesn't like it and won't build it. She's an Arab, one said. This can't be built, said another. Impossible. She's a woman, they said. They held another competition. Her design wins again, and still they refuse. Hadad means iron in Arabic, and Zaha is strong as iron. She keeps on working, one plan after another. I made a conscious decision not to stop, she said. Zaha remembers the grasses in the marshes swaying and sees tall buildings dancing like grass. Zaha remembers the winds in the dunes and feels it blowing over and around her through her desert building. Zaha looks at the shells and cradles her stadium like a cocoon. Zaha looks at stones in a stream and builds an opera house like pebbles in the water. Inside the opera house, a singer is the pearl in the oyster shell. Zahai looks up at the stars and galaxies and sees swirling buildings. Zaha looks at waves and sees a bridge that moves with the water. Zaha looks at the Alps and builds a museum inside a mountain peak with windows to see the sky and the valleys. Zaha's ski jump reaches to the sky like the mountains. Zaha thinks of the jungle and ancient wood temples and builds a wooden building to remember a faraway war. One by one, Zaha's designs become buildings all over the world. We do this so you can be in a simple place and feel good. Zaha is so busy now that every room in the old school building is filled. Over 400 architects work in these rooms, designing, planning, engineering, and making models of Zaha's visions. You should do what you like. Zaha designs a dollhouse and shoes and chairs. She designs a scalactite sculpture and an iceberg seat. I can't stop thinking, she said. Sometimes when she is working, Zaha's early memories return. The beauty of the landscape where sand, water, reeds, birds, buildings, and people all somehow flow together has never left me. I still believe in the impossible, she said. Then one night, the light in Zaha's windows go dark. She has left this world. But her architects keep their lights on, designing, planning, engineering, and making models of her visions keeping her flame blazing bright, even though Zaha is gone. Here are a few of the buildings she has designed. The end. Own Zaha Hadid inspired building. In your kit, you'll have some paper plates, some pipe cleaners, maybe some tape and a dowel, and you'll just need some scissors and a pen.
pencil or some markers and your imagination. Are you ready? All right. First, we're going to draw a spiral on our paper plate. Doesn't matter exactly how you want to do it. But remember, Zaha Hadid thought the world was not a rectangle. So we're going to make a squiggly building. And then we're going to cut out our spiral. Now you'll have a nice spiral, and you can put your building together however you'd like. everybody. I can't wait to see the buildings that you built that were inspired by Zaha Hadid. Now don't forget to sign up for our summer reading program using our Beanstack app, which you can find more information about on the Danbury Library website. And stay tuned right after this so that you can see some of the great work that you all did from last week's Mini Masters. I'll see you soon. Bye!